Hi guys, my name is Dorota Palicka, International Nail Artist and Educator and today we are in my salon, I'm with Marlena, we're doing her uh, rebalance and we decided to go for like a pale color with a tiny bit of the unicorn so I will be doing some uh, milky white-ish uh, color on them and then wrap some uh, pigments and do some sugar, you can also check this uh, nails, uh, what we are going to do it uh, in here. So first I'm going just to remove the old product uh, and that's the gel polish and because we are going to do this milky white I need to remove a little bit uh, more than I would normally do because uh, I want to encapsulate this gel with the clear later on. And this bit is fantastic, uh, you can also get it from our website, uh, I will give you a link in the description below. So I show you just on a one or two nails. The drill I'm using is the Marathon K38 and I have done some review on my other videos as well of this drill. It's really amazing. So does the beat like is so good like you can go and it doesn't hurt the clients. This part is done, I always clean my drill and you guys do that as well, just like remove any dust which might be on it uh, to make sure it is going to run you for a long, long time. And the next step will be pushing back the cuticles and uh, do a little bit of the cuticle work, not too much because uh, you don't want to hurt the clients and she's got pretty good cuticles because uh, been applying the cuticle oil for the last few weeks, she's laughing now. <laughs> Uh, much better cuticles uh, than the last time and the bit for the cuticle I'm going to use is this one so just a little work on the cuticle uh, first a uh, normal way just a tiny bit really she doesn't need a lot one side and then I put into the reverse and I go into the other side the shape so I've got the file if you've got a brand new file make sure you get rid of the uh, sharp corners and to do that is uh, you just go with the other file like this and remove any sharp bits so you don't cut the clients and basically because there is not much of the lifting I'm just going to reshape the uh, nail a little bit each the surface of the natural nail And that's my nail actually ready for a rebalance. So I'm going to do that on all of them and then we get into the uh, gel application. So that's the nails filed. I'm just going uh, with the file and check if there is any 
missing places I need to touch up to make sure they are all nice and good. And then we have to remove the dust, like make sure you do really clean it properly from any dust because that's what can cause the lifting. And go for the blue scrub, which is a nail dehydrator. Clean the nail. I also quite like using the extra dehydrator as well um, to get a maximum adhesion to the natural nail. And that's the stuff I'm applying on the top of the natural nail. And then the Universal Air Bond. The Universal Air Bond is amazing because you don't have to cure it, so that saves you lots of time. And again, just on top of the natural nail, there is not need on applying it on the gel. And because I do trust this gel, that's the transparent pink, because uh, I know it doesn't lift and it behaves nice, I'm going to apply an extremely thin layer of this gel first um, on the parts where I've got the natural nail. So I'm always cleaning my brush before I touch any gel, just in case if there is any dust or anything like that. And basically what I'm doing is I'm applying like a very tiny amount of this um, just where my natural nail is really. So very, very tiny amount. Mixture, and now I'm just going to apply it on the entire nail. And now I'm just applying a tiny bit of the clear gel over it. Checking the side view as well. So if I'm missing a little bit more on the apex, I'm just adding it on. So tiny bit on the entire nail and then a little bit on the apex. Not too much because obviously we had uh, it is a rebalance, it's a not new set. I'm still going to have quite a lot of filing. And then do that on all nails. Now I can cure it and then we can fi file the shape. So yeah, that's them cured. I just need to shape them now, but also I show you, so it is going to be excited stuff. Uh, this is what we are going to put over that, some beautiful unicorn powder and some sugar effect, because uh, Marlene, I really like my sugar effect. 
so we thought we will uh, exchange them a little bit and that will be the end results. So to do that, uh, what you have to do is uh, just give a shape to the, uh, to the needles. So basically I'm just filing nice and straight, nice and straight, um, then around the cuticle area. I will show you on the one, two needles and then uh, I will do the rest on my own. So another one, nice and straight, nice and straight. Around the cuticle area. Smooth out those free edge. And then once you're happy with the shape, you can take a buffer and just buff them really to the uh, really smooth surface because uh, rubbing on uh, Aurora pigments, um, the surface has to be extremely uh, smooth because uh, it's going to show off any kind of imperfection. I'll actually put that on. So on this needle, I will swap the colors. So here will be sugar, sugar, and then Aurora on those ones. So the needles which you're using the Aurora, you have to make sure that they are extremely, extremely well buffed because Aurora is showing any kind of imperfection. The same any other chromes, um, they kind of enlarge any kind of, kind of like un uneven surface. And this will be also the stage where I can, I just touch up this one more. And this stage also, I will be doing a little bit of the uh, cuticle work. Yeah, that's perfect smooth. <laughs> so just the tiny, tiny ones, which are sticking out. She got actually pretty good cuticles because been good and apply the cuticle oil. <laughs> that's great. So I'm going to remove any dust which is on the needle and we have to apply the no wipe top coat. And on this needle I'm going to do the sugar. So I'm just applying the top coat on the entire needle. And same on this one. And then using a very fine glitter, I'm going to sprinkle the needle. So one side first, other side. And then remove the excess. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you can see how nice and sparkly it is. I really love this look. And then on the other nails, we have to apply the and no white top coat, just so we can wrap in the pigment into that. So when applying the top coat for a pigment, again, it is very important that there is even not the tiniest piece of the dust, because uh, it will show a lot.
and then we have to cure it. For Aurora powder, the best results I get when the top coat is cured for 60 seconds uh, and this way it's kind of wrapped like really nice and mirror looking finish. Just remove the dust. And a 60 second cure. So that's the top coat cure and I'm just putting a tiny bit of the Aurora pigment on top of them and rub it in. So put it in first and then start rubbing it in with your finger. You want to kind of keep rubbing for a pretty long period of the time until all those kind of bits and pieces are gone um, and you need to make sure there is no um, pigments left. So you have to clean the nails well before you apply the top coat, otherwise it will look kind of um, grainy. So you don't want this look, you want to wrap everything really well. And, and then remove the bits and pieces, wrap this in. And because we have used the dry top coat, uh, we need to touch the free edge so it doesn't chip. If you don't touch the free edge, the pigment may peel off from the end. We can also remove the excess of the glitter. And then reapply the top coat again. <clears throat> and after that, I will show you how to apply the crystals. We have put them on this uh, other hand I can show you. So after that, I will show you also how to apply the crystals. Uh, so they stays all nice, like you can see it on my nails, uh, they're pretty old now, uh, but the crystals are still intact. When applying the top coat, make sure you cap those free edge really properly. And now we just have to cure it. That's my, my top coat cured, so I can just gently buff it, but you have to be very careful to don't overfile the pigment. So just very gentle buff, remove the dust, and then we are going to apply the crystals. So I will just pull that so I don't drop them. And I'm using the pay, uh, brush on glue from the Neil Perfect. So just applying a small amount of the glue And then go for the crystals. So on the top I want to use the three smaller ones and then we will be using the larger one. Like usually when I use uh, very large crystals I need to apply the smaller ones around it just to make sure it doesn't come off. And then just a tiny bit more glue and lots of crystals around it. So the small crystals prevent the catching of the larger ones and uh, this way they are staying in place longer. Now just add a drop more glue. Don't put too much glue because if you put too much glue um, it is going to show off on your top coat and it just doesn't look really nice. And also you have to wait uh, for the glue to dry out really well before you go into your top coat. So just, uh, just exactly in the places you want to place your crystals. Imagine dropping this box. Oh my goodness, I have done it once. Uh, once with the tips and once with the crystals. Uh, it took so much time to sort them out. Uh, but I was quite lucky and I asked my little niece uh, and she helped me uh, to clean and sort out all those crystals. Uh, I bet you probably had similar stories. Uh, dropping your crystals box or a tip box I think is the biggest disaster for every nail technician. Uh, but yeah, so I'm just applying the 
last couple crystals and then um, the top coat will go around the crystals. So I'm never putting the top coat on top of the crystals because um, then they are losing the shine and especially with the Swarovski it is uh, not nice. Now this one is pretty risky to be at the end. So I will push the other ones a bit higher. That's it. And then put the crystals in a safe place so we don't drop them. <laughs> and I can uh, apply the top coat but as I say wait for it to dry uh, before you um, putting the top coat so peel on the side and you want to push it around the crystals but at the same time you don't want to go over the crystals so just nicely around the crystals same on the other side all the way around the crystals and I love those pearly ones I think they are stunning cut the free edge cure and then that's it done so that's the finished look and I just wait for the other hand to uh, to cure as well and I show you the final look I'm just applying the cuticle oil well you can also have a look how nice and sparkly they are I hope you have enjoyed watching this tutorial and if you did give me a like or subscribe uh, it would be nice uh, also I'm looking for your ideas as well you can leave me a comment down below what else you would like to see on my channels thanks guys bye